Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to do a quick vlog this week uh, about what my workouts were like last and talk to all of you about something that I'm pretty sure just about anybody who has exercised for any length of time and taken it seriously has had to deal with. So uh, first, we'll talk about my week. So last week was a bit challenging for me. I, uh, on Monday, it's because I was here and I, I instructed classes, so I, my shoulder's been feeling really good. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, really good means there's still certain things that I should or shouldn't do, and it's not that I'm not careful with it, but it's been feeling so good. Uh, so a week ago, Monday, I did about 100, somewhere between 100, 200 push-ups in the rings doing uh, sets of 20, so I just kind of did those intermittently throughout the day. And then uh, I was doing burpees with class also. And it felt pretty good. Um, then the next morning I got up, went to my jiu-jitsu class, and I sprained my ankle. <laughs> it's a fall that I'd taken thousands and thousands of times, and this time my ankle just said, you know what, <laughs> I got another idea. So. That was, that's been very frustrating. And then later, as Tuesday marched along, my shoulders started to bother me more and more to where uh, I was like, all right, this is not right. I shouldn't have done so much. I got a little excited about feeling like myself again and I paid the price for it. So I ended up taking three days off. I didn't work out Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday and I did some here on Friday when I was instructing classes, but I did keep it uh, kind of moderate, just a little bit of everything. Um, so I took it light that day. Saturday, went up to Hoosier Heights. I was climbing the snake like I like to do, and I was feeling really good. I was very determined. I wanted to get 10 times up and down. Well, on the eighth time, I was coming back down, lost my footing, my hand slipped off a hold and then I, see if you can see it, ripped my hand, which is just awesome. So, <laughs> my tendonitis has been uh, manageable and then a sprained ankle, a ripped hand and a sore shoulder. Now this is not something that I feel like a lot of people can relate to. Uh, my wife says that Emery and I are not normal because we are willing to put up with uh, bruises, sprains, injuries, and just keep working around them. But I would say the one thing that is good because we do work with our injuries, we don't stop. So that's really where I wanted to talk to you guys, or you guys about today was just because you've gotten hurt doesn't mean you just start sitting on the couch and catching up with episodes of your favorite show. You Just because I'm hurt doesn't mean I stop. So I've had this shoulder injury here for a little while. Um, it's early, sorry. Uh, so back in October, I was starting to rehab and it ended up I was not quite ready for it. So I went into November, I was using stretch bands working you know, uh, on my back and not doing push-ups anymore because it just wasn't quite time. And then when I went into December, that's when I started doing climbing again, inverted, so that I could keep this arm within the quadrant of uh, motion, range of motion, where sort of I was supposed to keep it, but a little bit outside, but I was strengthening my back still and then in January, as I was just telling you, I started feeling really good. It was almost back to myself. And of course, I've had a setback because I was feeling good. I got a little overconfident. Uh, I am gonna tell you, it's feeling much better now. I'm still recovering, still ankles tender, uh, shoulders feeling right back to where it was. So I'm just gonna do some of the same things I was already doing, just maybe a little bit more moderation. I'm probably not ready for uh, you know, 100 burpees and 100 push-ups just yet. Uh, but just because you get hurt, don't think 
you need to stay at home because you come to class, we can still work with you on your injuries. You know, we've got uh, people with sprained ankles or uh, we had a girl with carpal tunnel that came to boxing. It sounds kind of funny, but the only thing in boxing she couldn't do was box. Uh, but we still gave her a good workout every time she came. So don't feel like just because you have an injury that you need to stop doing everything. Talk to Emery and I about it. We can keep you going. We'll just need to modify, substitute, or maybe put something on the shelf for a little while. So I don't want you to feel like uh, injuries are the end of the world. It sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm feeling it. But uh, I think I'm out of focus just a little bit. Uh, we can still work with you and you shouldn't quit because when you come back, if you've stopped altogether, it sucks. It just sucks because you're so, so used to that exercise that your body relaxes and you, your mind is still at that same point. So you come back and you're trying to pick up where you left off and your body slipped a little over those weeks or God forbid months and it's really hard to come back. So doing a little something, working around your injuries is the way to do it. So uh, please, if you have any problems in class, whether your wrist is bothering you or uh, your, your back is sore or something like that, we can probably give you an uh, initial kind of diagnosis and stretching to try and mitigate any factors. And then if that doesn't help, we're gonna send you to somebody that we trust. So. Other than that, it was a so-so week, but I'm feeling better. I'm hoping for a good week of, with my workouts this week. And uh, other than that, I will talk to you guys later in the week. See ya.